Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our first tutorial on Docker and Google Cloud. Today we are going to uh, do a project called QR Code Generator, which takes input as a web URL or some text and outputs a QR code. So let's go ahead and create the project on Google Cloud Console. Um, let's do a new project, QR Code Generator. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and create it. So let's go ahead and select it as well. Um, so we, as you can see, we are in the project's context. Now let's go ahead and open a terminal. So this is our project's ID and it is unique to every project. Let me create a folder called um, QR code generation and let's cd into it okay now we need to create uh, three files first is our docker file which looks like this so this docker file is actually a very uh, lightweight file it it is created from the base image of Python 3.9 Slim. Uh, it's very lightweight, so it's uh, very quick to load and build and run. Um, so the very first step is to set the working directory, which is app in our case. Uh, then we also have a file called requirements.txt, which contains all the packages required to run the application. So we are copying that file to our image, uh, basically to our container. And then uh, installing all those dependencies and then starting our application using the main.py file that we have. Uh, we're going to take a look at it just in a bit. So let's go ahead and create this file um, here. Let's call it as docker file. So this is created. Now let's go ahead and create our next file, which is requirements.txt. Let's copy it. Uh, we have just four requirements. The first one is fast API, which is to create APIs in Python. Then we have uh, UVCon, which is our server gateway. Um, and then we have QR code and pillow. Uh, which are used to create our QR code. Pillow is basically a dependency. It's a uh, image processing dependency that is being used by QR code. So let's go ahead and copy all these dependencies. Uh, one second. I think let's copy it again. Okay, uh, so we have our docker file, we have our requirements.txt, and now we need to create our file, the main um, business logic, that is our main.py. So let's see what we are doing in main.py. So um, we are creating APIs using fast API. Uh, the endpoint that we created is a get endpoint called generate. So this generate endpoint will take input. Uh, it can be either some text or even a URL. So that we take input in the um, content string. And then using the QR code library that we imported here, we are gonna create a QR code and then we are saving that QR code in a buffer and then streaming it back to the user. So this is the whole code that we have. Uh, let's go ahead and created here let's see I think there's something wrong with VI let's copy it again okay Okay. 
Okay, let me copy it again. Yeah, I am not sure why. Oh, yeah, let's try with nano ones. And copy it. Okay, let me try and create it again. Something is not correct. Let's create it. Mm, let me actually open it in Sublime. Maybe there's some issue with um, the text editor that I'm using. Okay, let me copy it again. Let me be in insert mode and copy it. Okay, so uh, we have our um, all the files here docker file, our main.py, and our requirements.txt. Now, what we need to do is uh, in our project, we need to create uh, an artifact repository which will actually hold the docker image that we uh, will eventually create. So, first, let's go to our project um, and let's look for artifacts registry and we need to so as as you see it's saying that our artifacts registry api is not yet enabled so there are a couple of apis that we want to enable um so let's let's first enable them um let's enable those first so these are all the apis that we want to enable let's go ahead and enable those so these are just the uh, apis for running cloud functions uh running our artifact registry and uh, so on so let's enable all of those let's wait for it to get successful okay so now that is done let's again go to our artifact registry okay so now you can see it is enabled for us and let's create a new registry for us uh, let's name it as qr code generation and it's a docker uh, docker repository so we have selected here as docker standard uh, for region let's use us central one um, you can give any uh, description like docker repository for holding images anything we can let the default be as is and create our repository Okay, um, so let's see. Okay, so our repository is created. 
right now it doesn't have any image inside it okay now uh let's go and copy the repositories path as well because we need it okay now what we need to do is we already have our docker file let's go ahead and build uh that docker file so for that docker build hyphen t then the path of our uh, repository followed by uh, the image name that we want to give let's say qr code um, and then uh, the current build context which contains our docker file let's go ahead and see okay so we have built this image now what we need to do is we want to actually push this image to this uh, repository that we just created so let's just do docker push and then our repository path followed by the image name Okay, so now that we have pushed the image, let's go ahead and check our repository again. Okay, so as you can see, we have our image here. Now what we need to do is we need to start a container with this image. So for that, we're gonna use Cloud Run. Uh, let's go ahead and create that container for us. Deploy container. Uh, and it will ask for what image we need for that container and this is the one this is what we named this is the hash of the image that we created and we can we need to allow public access uh, in production systems you might need authentication um, and we can just leave the rest as it is let's create our container so it will take a minute or so to get started. So let's wait for that. As you can see, we already have the URL for our container. So this is the URL that we will use to actually create our QR codes. And we are gonna do it just in a minute, once this gets started. You can just play around with this as well. We have a lot of observability tools here, metrics, logs. Um, you know, you can use it to debug your container, what is happening in your application, how many requests you are getting, uh, how many of those were successful, what's the latency. Uh, you have a lot of tools at your disposal here. Let's refresh it and see if the container is running or not yeah let's wait a bit more okay I can see uh, all the steps are completed now let's go ahead and try creating um, our QR code so if you remember we created the path as generate and we need to give some text or a URL for this example, let me say uh, my first Docker project and see what we get. Okay, here we go. We have a QR code. Um, now let's actually test our QR code, whether it actually shows this text or not. So for that, uh, let me actually use uh, an online tool, uh, QR code scanner. 
let me take a screenshot of this qr code and let me upload it okay uh, so from this qr code it was able to infer the text that i added which was my first docker project and so i think we have successfully created our app uh, you can also try it with um, a url like google.com or anything and it will create a qr code for you so i hope you enjoyed making this project with me uh, do try it yourself and let me know how it goes for you if you have any issues please do comment and i will uh, do my best to answer it i will also link all the uh, code the whole code um, and in in the comments um, in the description below and i will link the github repository as well thank you so much uh, like subscribe and comment uh, if you like it thank you so much bye bye